Hello and welcome to e-learning campus. In previous classes, we discussed about system software, operating system, utility software and language processor. I'll attach the link here on the top. In today's class, we'll discuss about application software, general purpose application software and specific purpose application software. So the first is First, we'll try to understand what is application software. Application software are sets of programs developed by programmers in order to perform a specific types of job. Specific types of jobs means like beautifying the document, doing calculations, arranging our data, making airline or railway reservation systems. These are the specific types of jobs. So the software that enables user to accomplish their required task is known as application software. So system software means software uh, used to control and operate and manage the computer system and application software installed as per the user's requirement. If we as a user need to perform a particular task then we need to install a particular application software so on the basis of their functionality we will be having two types of application software general purpose and specific purpose application software so first is general purpose application software the software that can perform many tasks to fulfill the general needs to people are known as general purpose application software. Here on the screen you can see the different different examples of general purpose application softwares like our word processing software, electronic spreadsheets, database management system, presentation software, desktop publishing software, graphic software, multimedia software. These are the examples of general purpose application software. Let's have a look one by one. First, we'll have word processing software. So the common example of word processing software is MS Word. A word processor helps us to create professional looking document quickly and efficiently. It provides many features to change the appearance of text in desired manner. We can uh, make our text bold, we can make it italic, we can underline it to superscript, sub subscript, shadow effects. So many different different features are there so that we can easily add, delete, rearrange or beautify the text and can even produce a hard copy of the document as per the requirement. As I said, the most common example is Microsoft Word. Other, other than that, we have WordPad and ORG Writer from OpenOffice. Next is Electronic Spreadsheet. A spreadsheet program helps you to perform calculations and display the data in the form of a chart to analyze in a better way. It is used for creating documents to manage and organize numerical data. Some of its application areas are financial accounting, cost analysis, interest, calculations, etc. VC Calc was the first computer spreadsheet program. Uh, for example, I want to maintain a record of your class. So in one column, uh, I can uh, note down your names. Other column, I can type your or I can enter your uh, uh, class test marks on the third column I can enter your UT marks or, and uh, other column I can uh, enter your term exam marks and if I want I can create charts and graphs with the help of these kind of datas okay so a spreadsheet allows us to analyze a data in a better way why because we can create charts and uh, we can create graphs and charts, pie charts, bar charts, so that we can analyze our data in a better way. And we can also perform different, different mathematical calculations on these data. So the examples are Microsoft Excel, Lotus123 and OpenOffice.org Calc. Next we have 
डेटाबेस मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम डीबीएमएस ईच वन ऑफ अस यूजेस डेटाबेस अननोइंगली इन अवर डेली रूटीन फॉर एग्जांपल मैनेजिंग टेलीफोन डायरेक्टरीज पेरोल इंफॉर्मेशन और अवर डिक्शनरीज आल्सो डेटाबेस सॉफ्टवेयर हेल्प्स अस टू अरेंज एंड स्टोर अ लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन इन एन ऑर्गेनाइज्ड मैनर लाइक योर डिक्शनरीज इन योर डिक्शनरीज thousands of words are there but in arranged manner uh, uh, just imagine what will happen if the data present in your dictionary is not in the arranged manner if you want to find a particular word uh, if you want to search a particular word system how difficult it will be for you to search a small word in thousands of word but it is easy for you now why because the data present in the dictionary is in arranged manner so in the same way database management system allows us to maintain a large amount of information in arranged and organized way you can easily create add find update sort search print and retrieve the information stored in a database so the examples are our ms access microsoft access and uh, other than microsoft access we have uh, org base from open office fox pro and oracle next we have our very known presentation software it is used to present an idea or concept in a lively manner lively manner means we can add slides and in a slide we can add pictures we can add videos we can add text we can add graphics chart sounds so many things video clips animation we can add in our slides and we can create and present our thoughts this software helps you to create and display slides on a computer or a projector for business and educational purpose examples are ms powerpoint org impress from open office and adobe flash next we have desktop publishing software this application helps you to combine both text and graphic features to design professional documents professional documents like our newsletters printed forms advertisements books brochures posters magazines our pamphlets so don't confuse between word processor and desktop publishing software word processor we can use for normal documents right like for uh, our applications and for simple looking documents we can use word processor software but if we want to use a high quality or high precision uh documents the published documents so for these kind of documents like our books like our magazines like our newspapers so these kind of uh, uh these kind of documents we can create with the help of desktop publishing software so uh, the um uh, what we can say the uh, companies uh, or we can say the publishing house our publishing house uh Uh, can use these kind of desktop publishing software because in MS Word it will be difficult for them to create these kind of highly professional looking documents, right? But in desktop publishing software, they can create these kind of books, magazines, and posters very easily. So the examples are Corel Row, you can see on the screen, and Adobe InDesign, you can see ID is the logo, or we can say icon. for adobe indesign and this is for quark express next we have graphic software it is used to create images like chart graphs photographs logos cartoons and much more so uh, uh, it is used for graphics only not for sound okay it's for only for graphics so the most common example is our paint and other than paint we have photoshop autocad dream weaver so many different kinds of graphic softwares are available in the market next we have multimedia software multimedia software is used to create videos animation sound graphics and text with a 
high degree of interaction like our game software windows media player windows movie maker our vlc media player so whenever we click and uh, uh, want to watch any video on our computer system and whenever we double click on a uh, video file or whenever we uh, open our video file it will redirect us to a multimedia software and that multimedia software open these kind of videos for us so here we are done with the general purpose application software next topic is special purpose application software or we can say specific purpose application software sometime known as customized software or packaged software so the software which are designed to meet the specific needs of any user are called specific purpose application software so tally and busy are the most common example of uh, uh, specific purpose software okay uh, and tally and busy are uh, mostly used by uh, these are the software or we can say these are the accounting software used by accountants to maintain their accounts or uh, basically the financial accounts other than tally and busy we have different kinds of specific purpose software like reservation system billing system and payroll system if i am talking about reservation system means our online booking system whether it will be a food booking system it can be your uh, uh, it can be your uh, online shopping it can be your uh, uh, online ticket booking system uh, our yatra.com ircdc.com or uh, for uh, for booking online shows uh, book my show booking online hotels like make my trip these are the examples of reservation system or we can say online booking systems second type is billing system so billing system we can see generally on malls whenever we uh, go to a mall and buy some products so the person is standing behind the counter uh, that person will scan uh, our product using a barcode scanner and using the barcode scanner uh, they retrieve the data from the database and with the help of this database they'll create a bill they'll create a list of the product uh, and in these in this uh, uh, with the help of their database they can retrieve the uh, information related to the product the product name product information pro product quantity type of the product right and uh, uh, the price of the product and with the help of these data they'll uh, uh, list all the items and total the bill and at the end uh, of uh, at the end they will generate the bill so these are the kind of billing system software the third kind of software is payroll system software payroll system software is uh, generally used for uh, employee record or we can say for salary record so uh, to maintain the salary record of each and uh, each and every employee companies are using payroll system so here we are done with our application software uh, the other uh, the other videos of the related to this chapter i link here only on the screen and if you like my video please click on like button share it and subscribe it thank you